So in this video, I'm going to be showing you some niches which are going to be absolutely massive in 2021. Obviously, we've been through some pretty unprecedented times um, when it comes to things like purchase behavior and your customers, then things have changed pretty dramatically. What people are buying has completely changed. The amount they're buying has completely changed. So when I go through these niches, as always, I'm going to be showing you the information and data behind them of why they're such good niches to sell in. And I'm also going to be showing you some product examples as well. So without any further ado then, let's jump straight into it. But before you go, please do me the favor of hitting the like button if you enjoy the videos. And of course, if you want to see more from me, please do make sure you subscribe as well. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy it. And let's jump straight into niche number one. So niche number one is going to be the pet niche. Now, before you leave the video thinking it's a stereotypical niche that everybody talks about, they do. But for the following reasons, I'm going to explain why it is a good niche. Now, in fact, before we jump into it, I'm going to go through the main reasons why people say avoid it and kind of answer those hesitations you might be having as soon as I say the pet niche. So the biggest thing people say is it's saturated and super competitive. The pet niche is super evergreen, if that makes sense. Um, and what evergreen means is that there's new people joining the niche and new people leaving the niche um, every single year. So in the UK, something like a million dogs are adopted every single year. So essentially you have like a million new customers every single year. And even if you can capture like 1% of that, uh, that's still some like a significant amount of orders and a significant amount of money. The reason though why they're on this list and I wanna talk about them in this video is because of COVID, because of coronavirus. If we take a look at the screenshots on screen now, so this is the search term adopt a dog in the UK for the past five years. At the moment, it's still super popular, but if we take a trip back to March, 2020, so when I believe when the first lockdown came into play. People were forced to stay at home. People got bored. So what did they do? They decided to adopt a dog. They decided to adopt a cat. So hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, millions is probably a bit OTT actually, hundreds of thousands of people decided to adopt a pet, which in turn grew the niche massively, which in turn means there's tons of customers out there looking for everything that you need from bowls, leads, um, collars, beds, uh, food, toys, um, and so on. Hence why they make it onto this video. Now, one thing I wanna keep in mind, which is super important, is that just because you pick one of these niches doesn't mean you're gonna be guaranteed success. Ultimately, it comes down to the individual products you pick. So if you are gonna pick a product, pick something that is super specific, something that has that wow factor, something that's either customizable and unique to the customer. So for example, like this, I've forgotten the name of it now, the dog harness that you see on screen now that somebody can put their pet's name on. If we take a look at the order history since Jan, um, since January this year, January 18th, sorry, we can see that it's just climbed and climbed and climbed. There's been steady growth with a total sales of $690,000. So when it comes to the actual products, pick something that either has a wow factor, something that is super helpful, like fixes a super serious problem that somebody has, something that somebody's never seen before, or something that's just super specific to the actual customer in which you're going to be targeting. Moving on to niche number two then, kind of follows on from the same premise as what I just explained. Um, certainly my friendship groups, probably three of my friends' partners now um, have gotten pregnant or had a kid in the last, well, since COVID, because when people are at home bored with nothing to do, then they do certain things. And this is backed up by the information. So if we look at the search term for having a baby, it's super popular right now. Um, and again, some people might say it's quite a saturated or competitive niche, but it's such an evergreen niche too. Every single year, there's millions of people born um, across the world, which in turn means there's gonna be millions of new customers to target. Let's give you an example of particular products then to kind of point you in the right um, direction along the right guidelines. Um, pick something, don't just pick something boring, pick something that has that wow factor that people won't have seen before, people won't have seen in shops before. And a great way to do this is to head onto Facebook, search for a particular product in a niche that you've seen on AliExpress, and then just try and find a video ad that has loads of engagement. So this one has 3.6K engagements, um, 500 plus comments, and then just read through the comments, see what kind of feedback it's getting. And then that's kind of like hardcore evidence behind a product, whether it's a good one versus a bad one. Moving on to niche number three, then we have solar lights. If we have a look at the search term for solar, solar lights, sorry, in the UK in the past 16 years. So it was super, super popular 
May last year, probably because of COVID and the lockdowns, people couldn't travel, forced to spend money, not forced, but obviously nothing else to spend money on. So what did they do? They spent money on their gardens, at their homes, doing home improvement. And one of those things obviously being solar lights, which is backed up again by the information on the screen now. So we can see in May 2020, it was the most popular it ever has been in the past 16 years. And it's going to follow on this year. So this is what it where it's at in March 2021. If we look at March last year, it was all the way down here and then suddenly grew and spiked up this high. And if history repeats itself, it's going to be bigger and even more popular than ever before. Now, when it comes to selecting products, the same premise applies, the same principles apply, sorry, pick something that's super specific, something that has that kind of unique factor and relevance to your audience. So what you could do is combine this niche with another niche, which I've done here with the products like this. We have solar lights for all the new dog owners out there. When somebody adopts a dog, they get super excited about it because it's new. Um, it's quite a big responsibility to take on and it's quite fresh. So when they come across, say, for example, a product like this, they're going to be super interested and in it. it's going to capture their attention. And if you can put together a really nice video ad um, in a really nice garden demonstrating how these work, um, then I think you'll be onto a winner. Moving on to the final niche then, we have cycling. Now the reason why this one has made the list is for a couple of reasons really. So number one, there's so many products within the cycling niche which you can sell all year round, depending on whether we're coming into summer or depending on when we're coming into winter. And we are currently coming into summer, which is currently the most popular time here in the UK um, in which more people are searching for these types of products. So again, UK, 2004 to present, and we can see we've kind of just started on the upward spike. And if we look at history, we can see that March, when I record this video, is when it starts going up in popularity to peak in May or June time. So if you're looking for a niche to jump into right now, then cycling is a great niche because there's gonna be more and more people looking for particular cycling products. When it comes to picking products, then again, the same principles apply no matter what niche you're going into, it comes down to the individual product. Try and find something cool, quirky, has that wow factor never been seen before. This was one product that I came across during my research. Now I've sold in the cycling niche for many years. Um, but I've never actually seen this particular product before, so I'm definitely going to be giving it some thought and speaking to a couple of different contacts and factories that I have. And it's if I play the video for you for a couple of seconds, we can see it's kind of like a seat which attaches to an adult bike, so you can cycle around safely and have your child um, safely on the bike with you. You can control the bike, the child has their own place to sit. So as the weather gets better, more and more people wanna be out there on their bikes. And for those people who have children who aren't old enough to ride a bike yet, this is a perfect compromise. It's just the perfect product to allow families to all get together, no matter how old their kids are, um, and go out on a bike ride. So definitely a great product, like I said, that I'm gonna be looking into more myself. Um, and this is backed up as well by the order volumes. If we take a look on sell the trend at the product research analysis here, um, since September last year, there's been a steady increase and in growth in the amount of orders. So with that being said, then guys, um, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. I think there was plenty of information and hopefully gives you plenty of ideas to go on. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by hitting that like button. Any comments or questions or future videos you'd like to see, um, just leave a comment down below and I can cover those no problem at all. Um, and then finally, before you go, I just want to leave you with um, the following, which is if you are looking to get into e-commerce and you want to take all the stress and hassle out of the, out of the process and kind of all the trial and error um, and try and do it as efficiently as possible, then please do check out my Ecom Academy, which is on screen now. Um, there's nine modules with over 120 different lessons. Everything from drop shipping to sourcing in bulk is covered. And as it says here, you get unlimited VIP email support directly with me. So as you go through your journey, if you come across with any questions that you have or you're not quite sure what to do next or you want to run some products past me, then you can do that. It comes with my full support and guidance. And with that basically then guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully see you in the next one too.